Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, December the 29th. Wow, 2010 is closing out quickly. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Let's take a look at our Skycam network this morning. And there's a view of uh, the decorations at uh, Jasper as we look uh, over the square there. And uh, a little bit of sun peeking over the horizon. Well, a little sunlight peeking over the horizon at Clanton with some bright lights below that. And at Dauphin Island in the south part of uh, on the coast, a very nice looking uh, sunrise down there. A little fuzzy, uh, camera having a little trouble focusing. High pressure at the surface uh, has uh, migrated uh, just past Alabama. And as we mentioned uh, the last couple of days, it is beginning to pump moisture from the western Gulf up through the Mississippi River Valley in Oklahoma, Texas. And that's setting the stage for the next uh, weather system in the upper atmosphere. Uh, we can see that uh, we've got a pretty substantial trough developing on the west coast. But in the meantime, a little piece of energy is coming out. And that is uh, going to be producing some showers uh, to our west uh, primarily, although we may see uh, some tomorrow as well uh, with a fairly uh, good percentage. Temperature-wise, wow, uh, it has really recovered. Look at uh, the area in Texas covered by uh, 50s and above. Uh, that is just absolutely amazing, but that uh, is what can happen sometimes. Across central Alabama, we are considerably warmer than we were uh, yesterday. Uh, with a lot of teen values for lows. Uh, this morning, we're anywhere from about, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 to 18 degrees warmer uh, uh, than we were uh, at this time yesterday. Maybe even a little bit more when you look at that 39 there at Birmingham. And uh, radar shows uh, some of that moisture off to our west. And I think for the most part today, it will stay off to our west. Uh, and we'll We'll be watching uh, that as the system comes our way, producing some rain for us uh, tomorrow on Thursday. And at our watch warning map, wow, look at all the advisories, watches, warnings in effect for the western, gosh, what is that, at least the western third of the U.S. So uh, kind of an interesting situation where we had uh, the East Coast the other day, and now uh, things have switched over to the other coast. Storm Prediction Center is outlooking the possibility of some thunderstorms in the, the uh, mid-Mississippi Valley down into the coastal areas of Texas on uh, day two tomorrow. Uh, the area doesn't change, changes shape a little bit, but pretty much stays to our west. And then uh, on day three, interestingly enough, a slight risk of severe with uh, potential for or marginal potential for some supercells. So we'll be watching closely on that development. QPF, uh, the storm or the uh, hydrometeorological prediction center guys, folks uh, are uh, forecasting a good deal of wet weather here uh, for the next. Uh, five days, and uh, I think I still think some of those coastal values of uh, four inches are a little high, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll live with that. And for us up here, uh, definitely looks like probably on the order of uh, well, it's going to vary uh, quite a lot, as you can see there in Alabama. Mississippi's going to get a good soaking though uh, with this next system. This is a 060 GFS model run. And uh, there's the moisture at noon today as the high pressure is uh, settled in over about uh, Melbourne on the east coast of Florida and pumping that moisture uh, up into Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, and uh, that's the focus there. The uh, little short wave comes across us on Thursday, and so that's going to be, uh, uh, well, you, you can see the, the big trough uh, digging in around the Four Corners area, but a little piece of energy is coming out, and that piece of energy is going to be bringing us uh, some shower chances. Uh, I think uh, shower chances are fairly good, but one of those things where not everybody is going to get rain in this situation. Uh, as that uh, trough does dig into the Four Corners area, it pumps up the ridge, and so that gives us a, a really strong flow. So it's going to be uh, from the southwest, and that's going to be a rather warm uh, day for us. 
And you can see that uh, the 540 line doesn't even exist in the eastern half of the country, just kind of using that as a little bit of a guide. But, of course, very cold back in uh, Texas Panhandle and New Mexico. Uh, the uh, wet weather stays a little off uh, Friday to our uh, west, but even with that, it looks like uh, the possibility is that we have to include some chances uh, of rain. The big day becomes uh, January the 1st, 2011, as the storm system moves up into the Great Lakes. It'll drag the cold front down into our area, and that uh, then gives us uh, quite a rainy day, I think, uh, for precipitation-wise on the first of the new year. And you can see that the big uh, closed low is now up into Canada. And we've got a nice uh, short wave moving around and under that uh, that flow as well on uh, the second. And so that should uh, hopefully bring the front past central Alabama. Uh, although the uh, European seems to be doing a little better job, it, it pushes the front a little further to the south. And, uh, and so there are some model differences here. But notice also the 540 line, again, using that as just a reference, stays to our north. By the third, uh, we're coming under uh, nearly zonal flow, so uh, an absence of any real um, features for us to hang our hat on. And uh, the GFS is suggesting that we'll be dry on the third. And then uh, on the fourth, boy, it's really a zonal flow. And it looks like there's some small short waves moving through there. We can see one in the vicinity of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle. And, of course, the bigger uh, trough out uh, to the west. Uh, but right now, that seems to be uh, re uh, relatively dry, that little short wave. However, with that southwesterly uh, fetch, uh, it does mean the possibility of some moisture. So I think we'll see at least uh, cloudy skies as well as uh, some small chances uh, of rain. We're talking about you know, 20 30% kind of situation. Wednesday the 5th, uh, a week from today, uh, the trough to our west is beginning to deepen just a little bit. And as it does, it pumps up our ridge. But again, that keeps us in that southwesterly flow pattern. And so the possibility of uh, mo moisture is not a real source of uh, forcing. So, you know, we're not looking at a big rain event, but certainly the possibility that rain will be in the forecast. And then finally, out in voodoo country, um, the uh, voodoo has really uh, flopped and flipped from <laughs> yesterday uh, with a big ridge around the 10th. And uh, uh, the uh, storm track much further north on the 13th. And one of the reasons that I don't know that that's going to happen is because if you look at the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation, you notice that uh, the seven-day forecast uh, through, uh, that's about the 14th or 15th of uh, January, is definitely suggesting colder. And that pattern in voodoo doesn't look that way. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, it is voodoo after all. The next Weather Extreme video should be posted by 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Wednesday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things of Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.